in this video we are gonna host our Vue.js application on DigitalOcean platform uh, so let's just create a Vue application so first thing you need to do is uh, just head over to Vue.js.org then click on the get start button here is the Vue documentation which is very rich um, just head over to installation instructions uh, we are not gonna use the CDN for now. We will just hit the npm install view to install the view command line tool uh, in our local system. So let's just hit that. Uh, after it's complete, uh, you will see that there is a text saying view activate the version of the CLI. So we are good to go to create the view application. So to create your own application, uh, just enter view, create, then your application name. Let's say uh, app digital ocean. Okay, and then just hit enter. Uh, view command line tool will install the necessary npm packages here you will get an option to choose uh, the between view 2 and view 3 so let's just start with view 2 which is the most popular one mm, in the view 3 we get the introduction to composition api and latest mm, technologies so this will take a while to complete. This will also initiate a Git repository. So we just need to add a remote from the Git and just push it to that repository. That's all. This will install all the necessary plugins, packages. There is a node module, scripts. So with just one command, we will be ready to serve our application. So first we will serve our application on the local host. Then we will move to host our application in DigitalOcean app platform for free. So let's get into the directory, cd space app DigitalOcean. Yeah, we are in the project directory now we will serve our application by npm run serve you will see a message that uh, your application is running on the local host with the port number so generally it's running on port 8080 so we will head over to uh, port 8080 local host port 8080 yeah, this is our view application. We will host this application uh, on DigitalOcean platform. We are not gonna modify any of this view application for now. So let's just host this application in our DigitalOcean app platform. So uh, let me open a new window. DigitalOcean. If you haven't already signed up for DigitalOcean, uh, I have added a link in the description where you can get a hundred USD to host your applications or for free. And DigitalOcean app platform is already free for a static website, so no need. You don't need that credit. If you need, you can just click on the link and get. 100 USD for hosting for two months. So let's just sign in. Yep, I am in my DigitalOcean dashboard. 
here you can see all the options for your droplets uh we will do some videos on the droplets kubernetes volumes and all of this uh in some videos so let's just move into the app platform Here we will host our application. I have already one hosted. Uh, that is a view quiz app. Uh, I will make a video on that soon. So let's just create an app. Before that, we need to add Git repository. Uh, so move to github.com, create a new repository, say example digital sorry digital ocean that pub will be public or private uh, we don't need to add a readme or git ignore it will be automatically added by our view application so no need to worry just create the repository we need to push our code to this repository and then we are good to go so um, first we need to copy this git one or you can see all the commands here sorry you will see all the commands to git remote so here I will copy this remote git remote add commands. So head over to this. I will control press the control C to stop our application from serving. Now just paste the command you have just copied that git remote add origin. So this will initiate the git repository with our view application so let's just add this and it's done so git branch minus m main so it will add the main repository then just hit the previous uh, push you are then good to go you will get a message that all the files are up this is done you will see all the files are added including the SSC all the files are here now we can host our application on DigitalOcean with a simple click just create an app choose a repository here we will uh, go with the what I what did I name it something digital ocean yeah, you will see this application uh, same example digital ocean okay uh, example digital ocean just click on that repository and just click next select your region here uh, just let's just go with New York mm, branch you can change the branch if you have multiple branches for your application so let's since we have a single main branch so we don't need to change the branch so auto deploy the code changes so it will implement the CI CD that is a continuous integration so whenever you will push the code to the github repository it will automatically deploy your application into in the DigitalOcean app platform. So just click next. No JS detected. Uh, so this is a static site, else you will need to pay a charge. Uh, let's just, this is our build command. Output directory is the build directory. Mm, let's just add build. The oh, sorry, sorry, this is a disk directory. Just click on next. We will go with.
with the starter account so monthly cost is just zero as you see let's just hit launch starter app so it will take some time to build our application DigitalOcean will take some time to build our application and deploy it to the front end so it will generate a link for our application so you don't need to worry so let us deployments you can check it here this is building and it's initial deployment you can click the details for a detail log on the deployment so you can get if you get any error in the build process you will check it here so after some time it will be ready let's just wait for it if you like the video so far please uh, just click the subscribe button and press the bell icon for latest notifications hope you like it for any suggestions leave your message in the comment box so here are the settings you can change the plan you can add your own domain after you successfully deployed the application you will get an option to add your own custom domain like anything.com or your extensions you can change the hosting zone to here so there are a lot of things and they are continuously adding so yep it's deployed now successfully so let's just click on live app Tada! your application is now live uh, with this link you can share your application and it's very fast so hope you enjoyed the video thank you